Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com and this is part 14 of our Learn Lightroom 5 video series and in this episode I'm going to do another portrait retouch. You may remember that I believe it was in episode 7 I did a portrait retouch but I've had a lot of requests to do more so I want to make videos that people want to see so I'm going to do more. So you guys always email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com and I'll be glad to um, do a video on something you're interested in. Um, one, th one note, all my videos or most of them so far have been post-processing videos. I am going to do some videos in the future where I'm out in front of the camera showing you some techniques like night photography and how to photograph maybe waterfalls and sunsets and different things like that. Um, I'm working on the equipment now and the software I need to do that. So that'll be coming soon. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to stick with our Learn Lightroom 5 series now, and I'm going to do this portrait. Um, this portrait, as I mentioned in those other videos, um, I um, was a portrait wedding and portrait photographer uh, for several years, and I stopped doing that. So I don't really have um, uh, modeled release portraits that I could use, and my wife and children you know, really don't want me to use their um, photographs either and I don't want to use my relatives and things like that so I bought this photograph from dreams time as you can see from up here and I purposely bought um, this one because it's untouched unretouched and it's I guess a demonstration of acne so this young lady has some acne uh, blemishes nothing too bad but I'm gonna show you in Lightroom how you could um, clean that right up I'm gonna hit the I key to get rid of this dream time up in the left hand corner and it probably got to be uh, there. Now hit the I key in there. That takes care of that. All right, the first thing I do is I use the spot removal tool um, to um, get rid of some of these blemishes. And you'll remember in episode six, I went over the spot removal tool. Um, <clears throat> in episode six, you remember, I always use in heal mode to start. And if heal mode doesn't do a good job, I move over to clone mode. Um, and this feather slider is new in Lightroom 5.2. When I did that episode 6, uh, Lightroom 5.2 wasn't out yet, and there was only two sliders, size and opacity. Feather is nice if if the heel or the uh, spot remove your spot that you removed looks like you removed it, you could move that feather slider sometimes and it will blend in better. But I'm go we're going to start with this uh, young lady here. Um, if Now I want to zoom in, and since I have the tool open, I'm, I have the tool there. So if I click, I'm going to be you know, using the tool. Whereas if I hit this closed, see there's a plus sign there, so I could, I could zoom in. The other alternative, though, is faster if you don't want to keep playing around with these things, is hit Command Plus, and you'll zoom in. Command Minus, you zoom out. Uh, make the tool just a little bit bigger than the blemish you want to remove and just click. Now Lightroom's going to sample something it thinks is a good spot. In this case it took a spot where the stray hair is coming down so it's putting that stray hair over there and I don't want that. I want it probably over here. So you know after a while you could go start going very quickly and you could just start whacking away these little blemishes. And I mean there's nothing major on her forehead. I'm being probably over officious um, with the spot removal tool. Now this one picks something way down below. I don't know what it's picking. So I'm going to hit the space key and this turns this into a little hand. See? If I hold the space key in and then I could drag the photograph up. Yeah, it picked okay there. So we could just uh, go relatively quickly. I just got a larger one there. I'm going to wait on that one and get some of these smaller ones first. I'm going to move this one because it's putting some brow hair in there. Where I'm doing this look like little white spots. I don't know if that's dry skin or what, but we'll just get rid of those two. And now let's see with these larger ones. I'll make my brush bigger by hitting the right bracket key. You want it just a little bigger than the blemish. And I know this is <coughs> probably terribly boring, 
and I was uh, tempted to pause the video while I did this, but I kind of want you to see the whole process so you get an idea of what it's really like to do this. Now I mentioned in um, my previous video that I did a portrait, that was um, episode 7, that I typically don't use Lightroom for portraits. I use a program called um, Portrait Professional and um, just right off the bat I'll tell you I don't make any money talking about Portrait Professional. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. Um, I just like the program and I use it. And I'm going to do a video after, later today where I do this exact same photograph using Portrait Professional to give you an idea how that works. Now Lightroom does a great job actually. Portrait Professional is just a little more powerful. You could do some more things. You could like sculpt her nose, make her nose bigger or smaller or something like that and you know move move pixels with it. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate all that when I do that video. But you'll see that as far as just the retouch, Lightroom does a great job. And um, you know, if I I don't hesitate to use Lightroom if I don't have any major like, you know, thing where I have to move someone's chin to the other side of her face or anything like that, you know, I'll just um, use Lightroom because it's a lot faster and it does a great job. Okay, I'm being <coughs> extra extra fussy here. I'm going to hit Command minus uh, to zoom out. I'm going to close this tool down. I'm going to hit the Y key and you can see the before and the after and you can see I removed these, uh, mainly these big blemishes, but I removed a lot of little ones too. I left one over here. Um, hit the Y key again and just for the heck of it, we're going to go back Oops, and we're going to get rid of this one. You know, you don't want to really generally move any distinguishing marks, something that distinguishes the person. For instance, uh, Cindy Crawford has a distinctive mole on her face that probably was part of her, it, it is part of her persona. And um, you don't want to move, remove generally anything that's going to change the drastic look of someone. Um, but in this case, we're just removing some little blemishes on her on her uh, face and in her upper uh, chest area here. So that's fine. Next thing I do is I smooth skin. And the way you do that, there's a preset for that. You go to the toolbar, the very last tool is the adjustment brush. You click on that and you go to this drop down right here. And if you go down here, there's soften skin. Now you can see there's a few, um, there's a few, uh, adjustments for portraits. Teeth whitening, soften skin, and iris enhance. Unfortunately, she's not smiling, so we there's no opportunity here to whiten her teeth. I did do that, though, in episode 6, so you can watch it there, and it's very straightforward. It's not hard. You just paint on her teeth, and it would whiten it. It's similar to what we're going to do with her skin right now. So, I'm going to soften her skin. When you click on that, it will I'll put these sliders in an area that it feels, Lightroom feels, will soften her skin adequately. Now I'm going to zoom in. Typically I probably wouldn't, but I'm going to zoom in just so hopefully you could see it a little better or what it does. I'm going to hold the space bar down and drag. And we're going to start with her forehead. And I'm going to make the brush bigger. One thing to note is make sure your feather is all the way up, flow is all the way up, and your density is all the way up down here. And auto mask is clicked. Um, having the feather like that and the auto mask clicked, if you accidentally get up in her hair a little bit, it, it will not um, soften her hair. And that's what you don't want to do. You just want to soften the skin. You don't want to soften any of uh, her hair, her eyebrows, her eyes, or her lips. So just soften skin. So just start and you just paint it on. And you could see, hopefully in this video, right away there's a dramatic softening occurring. Um, so we're going to go under her eye as close as we can without hitting her uh, eyelashes, hopefully. Okay, we'll get over here, over here. Okay, now I'm going to make my brush bigger because I want to go underneath her eyebrows, or excuse me, make my brush smaller by hitting the left bracket key. And then I'm just going to paint above her eyebrows and below her eyebrows. See, I got my 
tops and bottoms mixed up. I should have watched Sesame Street with my kids more. Okay, now we're, we got that. Now we're going to push in the space bar so I could drag up and you could see the big difference it did right there. I mean, there's a good comparison right there. So I'm going to continue painting and careful not to get any on her lips. Now there's some dry skin or something here. I could go back later with the um, spot removal tool and deal with that. But in the meantime, we'll just get all the skin softened. There. And I think I got everything. We're going to hit Command minus. To zoom out, and I'm going to hit the Y key to show you the before and after. Look at that's a dramatic difference already. And I really just did two tools. I did the spot removal tool, and I did soften skin. And you can see it's it's a, done a great job in my opinion, at least. Hit Y key again to get rid of that before. Now I'd like to enhance her irises, so I'm going to zoom in again uh, by hitting Command Plus. And I'm going to drag down a little bit, hold the space bar down, and drag down so you could see your eyes a little better. Now it's in the um, adjustment brush again. We're going to click New to get a new adjustment brush. Then we're going to go to this drop down and we're going to do Iris Enhance. Now what you want to do, now again, it set these sliders, what it would think to enhance her irises, is uh, we want the brush just a little smaller than that, the her iris. A little bigger than that. So it's going to be, you know, between this black uh, pupil of her eye and the white of her eye. And then you literally just paint it on. Just paint it on her eye like that. Now this adjustment is very, very subtle, but you could enhance it. You can make it a little crazier. You can make her look like an alien if you wanted to. I don't think we're going to do that. Now I'm going to zoom back out so you could get a better view of what uh, what I'm about to do. Is I, I tend to like to bring the highlights up a little bit. So if I bring her highlights up a little bit, it brought her eyes out a little bit. And I'm going to bring exposure just up just a little bit. Make her eyes see if you go too too much, she's, she's very alien-like, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to go crazy. Just a, just a smidgen. And uh, you might want to bring contrast up a little bit too. It adds a little more detail into her um, irises. So that is enhancing her iris. Now I'm going to close this tool down to get rid of the marker there. And you could see I'm going to hit the before and after. Now just look at her eyes. I probably I did overdo her eyes a little bit, but we're going to leave it like that because some people like to have alien eyes. You know, they like to show that. So typically I wouldn't do this, especially on a, you know, a friend or relative or something. Um, but I, you know, it's kind of a cool shot. So we'll do it. And uh, you can see too is how dramatic everything is now. Look at this uh, before and after. It's, it's quite a dramatic change. Okay, I'm going to hit Y key again. And the um, next thing that I want to do, see these bags under her eyes? They got they diminish greatly when we uh, soften the skin, but we could do it a little bit more. Is we go to the brush, or we I'm sorry, we go to the spot removal tool, and we're in heal mode, and this time it's going to be working with the opacity slider. But let me show you how it's done. We're going to zoom in by hitting Command Plus, and I'm going to make the brush bigger, and I'm just going to paint under her eye like that. Now it's sampling way up here. Typically you like to sample on the cheek. Okay? So sample somewhere on the cheek. Now turn the opacity down. Usually between 30 and 40 you want the opacity. Okay, now we're going to do this side. It sampled way up top again. I don't know why it does that. But we don't want that. We want a sample from the cheek. Okay? And we have the opacity at 37. And that's good. Now, 
I'm going to um, zoom out, Control, Command minus, and I'm going to hit the Y key. Now you can see the bags here. And then you can see with the combination of skin softening and using the spot removal tool at around what I have it at, 38% or so, you can see it, it dramatically, dramatically changed those bags under her eyes and she looks um, a lot less tired. So uh, that's that. Now, the other thing I like to do, um, a lot of retouchers like to do, they enhance the lips a little bit. And um, she doesn't have any makeup on or anything. A lot of times, you know, she might have had um, some lip gloss or lipstick or something on and it, it's, you don't have to do as much. But in this case, we take the adjustment brush again and there's no adjustment for this. Um, but if you go up here to contrast, just click on contrast. Well, first of all, we want a new brush. So click on new and we want contrast. And we're going to paint a little bit of uh, contrast and we're going to add some saturation to it uh, in a minute. But let's hit command plus so you could see better. And hold the space bar in, drag up and we're going to make the brush a little bigger. Now this we don't want to get on the skin. Opposite of you know before. We just want this on our lips. Okay. Now we have contrast up a little bit. We could probably bring it up just a little bit more. Clarity. Bring clarity up a little bit. Bring saturation up a little bit. Unfortunately in this case she's got like some dry lips or something where she's got some I don't know, almost like, um, like bruises or something on her lips. But, in you know, obviously I don't test these things out before I do the video. I just wing it. But that gives you an idea of what you could do to enhance the lips. And, um, again, let me um, hit the Y key. And you can see the before and after and how the lips are a little more um, distinct and sticking out. And so hit the Y key again. And um, that's pretty much it on the uh, portrait retouch. We did it relatively quickly, and I'm going to hit the backslash, a uh, little, the backslash key, and there's the before, and there's the after. So really, I mean, you did, we did this all in Lightroom, and that was, um, and I, and I know I overdid her eyes and I overdid her lips. Probably shouldn't have did her, the lips at all, but um, I just wanted to demo, you know, what you could do. And again, we couldn't do uh, teeth whitening, but just paint that on, just like we did the skin softening. And um, it would whiten uh, someone's uh, slightly yellow teeth. It does a good job. It just basically desaturates the teeth so they're more towards grayscale than they are f towards a color. And it gets rid of the yellow. So that's it. This is episode 14 of Learn Lightroom 5. And I mentioned... Um, before, later today, I'm going to do a video uh, doing the same exact portrait with Portrait Professional. And um, you'll see it's going to pretty much come out like this. Um, but we'll do some sculpting where maybe I'll make her nose bigger or smaller or something like that. This poor girl's probably going to kill me if she ever finds me. But it was a model release photograph. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, uh, I appreciate everyone watching. I really do. And I appreciate everyone who subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe to the channel. And come over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I try to add stuff every day on, um, you know, teaching you photography. And everything's free. Um, you know, I'm not out to make a million dollars on this. I just want to um, give back a little bit and try to teach people how to take uh, nice photographs. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later.